Now let's get into some deep uh, news and analysis here in the big stack of news before we go to break and come back with Professor Griff here on InfoWars Nightly News, all teleprompter free. Special ops halted from responding to Benghazi attacks, U.S. diplomat says. And now the White House is trying to start demonizing these diplomats. I don't need them to tell me what happened. I don't need a congressional whitewash hearing where they claim there was systematic failure. There wasn't failure. There was a stand down ordered for eight hours while two Predator drones were in the sky. And while a C-130 was orbiting right off the coast of Libya, 20, 30 minutes away. That has all come out. Of course the White House knew. Of course they wanted that ambassador and those people dead so that when Al-Qaeda, who was the security force in Benghazi, that was the security force for them, they used their own people to kill them. Our government runs Al-Qaeda. The usurpers of our country run Al-Qaeda. And so, of course, they killed them so that when Al-Qaeda starts shooting jet airliners down with 10,000 heat-seeking missiles they got in Benghazi, that's on record. They've been showing them off. They've been using them in Syria. So that when they do that, they can say, oh, we don't know how they got them. This is full-spectrum dominance where they create the terrorist, aid the terrorist, so they can then take our liberties and make trillions in no-bid weapons contracts. Because America has been hijacked by corporate, special, anti-free market groups who, who can't believe how much they've gotten away with. And they don't want us to ever get our country back. They want to successfully gut it, make us poor, get us under their political control. But this is really bubbling over. We'll be covering it on the radio and TV tomorrow after the hearings that start in Congress. But special ops halted from... Uh, responding to Benghazi attacks. And we had Colonel Schaefer on a week after it happened saying that. I mean, this has all come out. I want to get Colonel Schaefer, by the way, back on, do whatever it takes. Call him, email him. You guys go after him. Get him on. White House refuses to address questions on Benghazi stand down. Infowars.com. We break it down right there. Where is Infowars tooting our horn that we broke all this the week after it happened? We should go back to our articles and say, see, we told you and have flashbacks. Not because I even want credit. I want people to know we know what we're talking about, okay? Because the media is trying to discredit us right now. Graham, I think the dam is about to break on Benghazi. You're like, ooh, he's getting to the bottom of it. Then he says it was a systematic failure across the board. A system failure. It wasn't a failure. It'd be like Hitler at Nuremberg if he would have lived saying, it was a failure, I screwed up. It's like if you caught somebody robbing a bank, they're like, sorry, cops, it was a failure. I, it was a failure I came in here and robbed it. State Department won't say its officials set to testify on Benghazi are credible people. White House tries to deflect criticism from Benghazi whistleblowers. So there you go. They are certainly in panic mode right now. Benghazi witness, U.S. military response could have scared off attackers, prevented mortar strike. See, government hires a bunch of shallow people so they don't figure it all out. It's like um, they had all these FBI guys in the news after 9-11 going, it's like Al-Qaeda had moles in the Justice Department. They were always one step ahead of us. Of course they have moles. The globalists created them. Of course they're one step ahead of you, ten steps ahead of you. Now let's continue with the treason here. GM wins approval to build 1.3 billion Cadillac plant in China. They've already moved Volt over there. And again, this is in the Wall Street Journal. This is in Bloomberg today. This was in the agreement, what was it, three years ago? All we did was read the agreement. Actually, our listeners said, hey, look at this subsection of the agreement. And we covered it and said, wow, they're going to pay billions to move a plant to Brazil, Billions and billions to move plants to China and Eastern Europe. I mean, my God, no wonder we're shutting down. There's no real jobs. They want you service-based, where they fully control you. They don't want America to be self-sufficient. So there's GM, uh, a report uh, out of Bloomberg. Here's one out of the Wall Street Journal. General Motors built a Cadillac plant in China. I mean, it's a cream puff. It's a Cadillac. You can't, we can't, to quote Tony Montana, we can't even have Cadillac made here. Now they're saying they're going to move Jeep to Italy. 
Because Fiat, who, by the way, is at Bilderberg, the Fiat heir, he wants it that way. And nothing against the Italians, but my God, you know, keep your Ferraris, keep your whatevers, and, you know, I'll buy your sunglasses. You got great clothes. You're great people. But, you know, again, it's about globalism. It's about shut America down. Oh, makes me so frustrated. Continuing, Senate passes Internet sales tax bill amid opposition from conservatives. Boom. That's to track and control and dominate the Internet. Internet sales tax bill faces tough selling house. They always tell you that so you don't think that there's a chance it'll pass, so you, so you don't complain. It's a standard tactic. Uh, Republicans ride on cruise control, and the Hill says they're split on whether the fact that he's being tough on tyranny, whether that's good. You mean the sold-out establishment Republicans? I mean, i got to say, Ted Cruz, who we interviewed when he was running, who I was standoffish from just because I don't know him, has really turned out to even be more liberty-based than even uh, somebody like Rand Paul, who I like. Uh, I mean, he's getting in there asking real questions of the Federal Reserve, real questions of Big Sis, and they're freaking out. Here's an article with Harry Reid calls Senator Cruz a schoolyard bully. Cruz is incredibly calm, asks polite questions, and says things like, so, you just got the bill a day ago, 300-plus pages uh, on uh, you know, th this, this, or that uh, to Janet Napolitano. Did you read the whole thing? She goes, Yes, I did. You know, she had a busy weekend then, didn't you? Mm -hmm. It's obvious she's a liar. Just, just actually doing his job. So, uh, you've got over two billion bullets and you're ordering more. Uh, what's going on with that? Uh, oh, that's not credible. We're not getting any bullets. Uh, okay. Um, and then he just continues to bring up issues and then show them up as liars. That's, and, and, I, and I like Rand Paul's filibuster. They are the model of the type of people that can lead this country out of globalist collectivization. So I got to say it. I'm very, very excited about what's happening there. Uh, let's continue now with the demonization of the real press in closing as we then go to break and come back uh, with the extensive interview with Professor Griff. The case against rumors of government ammo stockpiling, that is the Atlantic Wire that might as well be White House run like Media Matters, and they quote Media Matters, and they say, Alex Jones has made it up, the bullets aren't for you, and they go on to say it's not part of a secret army, as some have worried, and it links to Senator Enhoff. You know, it's funny they use that term, because that's what it's known in clandestine takeovers as a secret army, a paramilitary force you grow quietly that funds itself with criminal activities, you know, the Contra is using drug money, things like that. That's called a secret army. And they have a fifth branch of the military now under NORTHCOM, 7,000 armored vehicles, anti-mine, machine guns, hand grenades, rocket launchers, spy networks, secure corps, InfraGuard, clergy response teams, checkpoints. They say their main enemies, veterans, gun owners, conservatives, billions of rounds of ammo, domestic training, all of this going on. Yeah, that's just the latest purchase was 2000 700. It's over 7,000 now. Video of, of Bradleys being deployed all over the country. <clears throat> Army Times admitting they're training to, quote, take on domestic groups, not Al-Qaeda. All of this is going on. Obama's setting up a domestic security force, and they've gone from saying there are no bullets to saying, you know what, we, we, we are buying them, but uh, it, it's a normal amount. And it turns out it's 10 to 11 to 12 times any previous purchase in any previous year, depending on how you crunch the numbers. And enough now to fight a 35-year war. Now, oh, look at those for America. A 35-year war in Iraq at the numbers they were using. And they're cornering the market. They've now sent out pers uh, a, a prospectus, and this has gotten no coverage. They've now sent out a prospectus that we, we broke last week asking for every major manufacturer, can you provide us with millions of more rounds a month? They, th whatever people can produce, they're buying it. And they go, oh, okay, if, you, you know, if you'll deliver this in a year, we want the next year. We want everything you can build. Well, how much do you want? Whatever you can make to dry up the supply. And they're telling us that it doesn't exist and that we're crazy. And we broke that news, and, 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 and now it's being picked up 
by Fox News, by the Washington Times, by others, and by World Net Daily. And that's what freaks the system out, is that we report something now, people go look up our research, find out it's true, it's fed.biz.gov, I mean, it's all right there, and, and it's freaking them out, because they're not in control of the narrative. Here's Steve's article from a couple days ago. U.S. Senator, big sis buying ammo to dry up supply, then picked up by World Net Daily, then picked up by Fox uh, uh, Today. So that is the type of stuff that's happening. And, and, and look, I'm just here to report to you that we're able to have an effect now. You're able to have an effect. And that's why it's so essential that you support this platform that's fighting the globalist. It, look, if you've got a PrisonPlanet.tv membership for $5.95 a month, that's 11 people can simultaneously log on to that. Give that username and passcode to your friends and family. Tell them to tune in. Tell them to go watch the high-def films, to read the online books, the, the documentaries, the, the nightly news, to see the daytime show, to see all our reporters. And the little bit of money we're able to keep after bandwidth, we're able to get more reporters, more computers, more editing software, and be able to have a, some backup capital in case everything completely implodes. InfoWars needs to be stronger. And if you support us and vote with your dollars, we will be. Fortune favors the bold. That's an ancient Latin saying, but uh, adopted by MI6 and the SAS. I personally have adopted it because my fortune I'm after is a future for humanity, a future for my children, a future for good people who, who, who freely want to deal with each other and, 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 and build a better world instead of a bunch of gangs of people who want the guns and want us disarmed. I mean, this is gang psychology out of government. This is gang psychology, the red carpets, the helicopters, the, the fixed elections, the checkpoints, the, the government now issuing diplomatic immunity basically to every agency out there, saying there's diplomatic immunity for the police, basically, saying diplomatic immunity for corporations. They don't have this immunity. It's an illusion. Justice demands that they be brought to justice. And the universe will bring them to justice. And we are part of that manifestation of justice. And if you don't believe in God, you need to know something. The psychological studies out there show that praying and believing in God and calling on a higher power does empower you. So even if you don't believe in a physical God or in an energy force in the universe, it's there. And so you need to call on the good. We need to reach for our higher angels, not our lower ones. We need to decide we want to be good. We need to decide what good is, and we need to support it. Because we are at the crossroads of an epic battle for the future of our civilization and our species right now. This is a big deal that's happening right now. And most importantly, we need your prayers here at InfoWars. Lastly, because I'm so excited about it, uh, and they are, this is going to probably sell out the fastest of any magazine we've had. I don't say this because uh, it's, it's shameful to be a capitalist and free market and make money. I say it so you know you're getting a really good deal. Also part of capitalism. We're selling this magazine at cost. At cost. And quite frankly, I lose money on this issue putting three bumper stickers in it. This costs like 32 cents to have 100 and something thousand of these printed a, a piece. If you punch it up, I'll show people on TV right here. This cost, this right here, this insert, 32 cents a piece at 110,000 of these printed. So that's 30 something thousand. Then the extra shipping and stuff, it's about $40,000 to have done this. Get them, put them on your car, put them on your own property, get them out to people. Because, because this, if this is successful and this creates a meme like the French resistance, we'll start doing this more. My goal is to find out the best ways to spend money to fight the tyrants. We've got like, let's not exaggerate, 400 uh, injuries in the $115,000 Operation Paul Revere contest. I mean, some of this stuff is just dynamite. I'm salivating in resistance. You know, that's what floats my boat. Some people like to hurt innocent people. They get off on that. Some people like to cheat people. They get off on that. Some people like to... You know, water skiing or canoeing or, you know, that floats their boat. That does mine. You know, fighting tyranny, building a better world, that gets me excited. And I know that gets you excited. So let's kick some globalist butt. If you live in central Texas especially, these are getting grabbed up quickly at, at over 
what is it, 1,800 locations. We put like 50 or more of these out. These are all over the place in Central Texas. You can order them in bulk in groups of 10 up to 100, or you can subscribe and get it this issue in the next 12, or give a gift subscription. Great way to wake somebody up. 12 big glossy magazines mailed to their door. It's $59.95 for 12 of them, and that, that includes the shipping. Most of the cost is the shipping. It'd be like 20 bucks if it wasn't for the shipping. That's 12 times mailed out to you. So a great gift. Subscribe to the magazine. Buy the Pro Pure Water Filters. Go to the Seed Center. Launch, we're launching Operation uh, Johnny Appleseed tomorrow, right, dude? Tomorrow. That'll be exciting. Support us. Support our sponsors. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Weldon's in here. Something exciting going on, bro? <laughs> I talked to our buddy yesterday. I have to go out to his ranch in a couple weeks. All right, listen. Uh, that's it for the news and analysis and rant transmission. Teleprompter free. We're going to come back with a powerful interview conducted about two weeks ago when he was being inducted into the Rock and Roll uh, Hall of Fame uh, in California, Professor Griff of Public Enemy. Uh, this is a big interview, and I hope you send it out to everybody you know. That's it for the news portion of InfoWars Nightly News. Great job, crew.